Hi guys, my name is Claudia and I'm going to be doing my first ever YouTube video with you guys. This is the look I created using the MAC and Selena Cosmetics collaboration. So if you want to stay tuned and see how I got this look, keep on watching. Hi everyone, welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Today we are going to be reviewing the Selena and MAC collection. I have their eyeshadow and I have the um, lipstick in color Queen of Cumbia. I personally love the holographic look on the package. If you guys saw the first collection, it was in color purple, which I believe it's her signature color. This one is black with the glittery rhinestones and it's absolutely beautiful. The colors are really, really pretty. It comes with like a picture of her. Today's look is going to be a very nude, soft, eyeshadow, smoky kind of look. It does come with a lot of pink, well, with a couple of pinks and a burgundy. So in the future, I will bring another look using the same palette. A lot of the times when we have a palette, we tend to always go to the same colors and we leave some behind. And, you know, before we know it, we have no browns left and we have like all the color left. So my goal is for us to be able to use all of these so let's get started okay as you guys can see i already did my eyebrows just because my eyebrows are a little bit time consuming so that will leave for a future video of how i get my eyebrows like this i'll let you guys know what i did use if i do forget to mention what i'm using it will be on your screen and also it'll be in the description box below so um, for my eyebrows i use the nyx pencil in color espresso and to set my eyebrows, I use the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I absolutely love both of these together. This is what I use and as an everyday. Um, I used to use the Pomade Anastasia, but I don't use it unless it's like I'm going to be going out somewhere. I don't really want to use it if I'm going to just be at home, you know? Okay, to start, I'm going to use my favorite primer. I use the Pore Professional from Benefit. I love this one because I do have um, acne on my skin and this is a pore filler so it makes it look really flaw flawless and just beautiful. Grab a little bit, don't grab too much and apply to your face. Okay, so now we're gonna get started with our prepping our eyelids for the shadows if you guys see that i look off to the side a little bit it's because i have my other mirror here and it's a little bit hard for me to be able to do it on the camera here so just bear with me it's my first video so i'm sure i'll learn as i go so for now this is what i have so to prep my eyelids i'm going to be using the tarte shape tape this is a concealer which i will also be using for multiple things however i like the fact that this one does not crease at all it stays in place all day and therefore i that's why i like to use it as a eyelid base so we're going to apply our primer on your lid So we look a little funny, but it's okay. We're going to blend this. I personally like to use brushes a lot better than sponges or beauty blenders. I don't like them that much. So I'm going to go in with my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH08 to blend that. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to grab our palette and we are going to go in with this corner shade right here it's like a very soft tan sand color and we're gonna go ahead and grab whatever brush you like or whatever you feel comfortable with using I have here I bought this at Ulta it's just a, a brush cleanser so you just swipe it and it cleans your your um, eyeshadow which is great that way you can use the same brush and 
do all your makeup with just one brush if that's what you prefer or you can have multiple it's up to you okay so grab your corner color here and apply this to your eyelid towards the middle of the, your crease of your eyelid Okay, remember what we do to one eye, we do to the other. So I'm going to go in with this like really cute brown, soft brown color. And I'm going to apply that also same to the corner of my eye and bring it in. And then slowly start to bring it up a little bit higher and into your corner eye, the corner of your eye, and blend. Okay, now that we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and grab the darker brown on the other corner. And this one, we're going to also center it here, but kind of focus more on the under outer eyelid this is going to give us more of that smoky eye look and again start bringing it in to your eye notice how i've also been going down around this one not high but lower keeping it on this crease and also coming down this way to give it more of a smoky eye look. All right, now we're gonna go in with the clean brush. I'm cleaning mine in my little box here. So now you're gonna go in with the clean brush and just blend both colors together very softly. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my concealer one more time on the inner eye of my eyelid, and I'm going to add it so that I could add a little bit of glitter to the eye. Okay, now that my eyelids are set, I'm going to go in with this glitter look, um, color right here, and I'm going to be using a brush that's a little bit more flat because I'm not going to be blending this, I'm gonna be patting it down. Okay, so now with our same brush that we used before for the blending, we're going to go in and go ahead and grab the darker shade again, the darker brown, and apply that under your eyeliner here. Okay, and with a smaller brush, this has a definitely thin point. We're going to grab the glitter here and put that in our inner corner. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with a wet towel with a, this is a makeup wipe. We're just gonna go in very lightly and remove any kind of fallout that we might've got. I'm just doing this because we did use a little bit of glitter so okay so I'm going to go ahead and put my eyeliner on I'm going to do it thinly I don't want it too thick because I am going to be applying false eyelashes okay now do your other eye now that our eyeliner is done we're going to go ahead and do foundation while we let that dry so that we can go ahead and apply our lashes so I'm going to be using the MAC Cosmetics and my um, Jaclyn Hill with Morphe brush to apply my foundation. MAC foundation is my ultimate favorite. I've used it for a lot of years. I also um, will be putting down in the description box my shade just in case you guys are 
pretty much my complexion. You guys will know what shade to look for, but um, you can always go and get matched at the store. Okay, now that our foundation is done, we're gonna go in with the concealer one more time and I'm going to apply this under my eye. I didn't apply foundation under my eyes, that's why they still look dark, because I'm gonna go in with concealer. There's no reason for you to be putting in foundation and then you're gonna put um, concealer on top of the foundation. That causes a lot of the time a lot of creases and, and it makes your face look cakey. So I recommend that you don't apply I'm gonna go in with my JH08 uh, brush one more time and I'm going to blend that all the way. Okay, now that we have blended that together, I'm gonna go ahead and set it with my Revolution Baking Powder in shade Banana. I'm gonna be going in with my JH07 brush and softly applying it to where I had my concealer. Okay, while we allow that to bake on our face, we're going to go ahead and start working on our eyelashes. That way we can completely finish our eyes and then we just finish off the face. So I'm going to be going in with my eyelash curler first and I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Now I'm gonna go in with my Bad Gal from Benefit Mascara in color black. Just a light coat so that it also will help us um, blend them in with our false lashes. Okay, now that we've already added mascara, we're gonna go in with our false lashes. I'm going to be using the Lashaholic Luxury Lashes. The packaging, again, super cute. And I always use the Duo in Blue. This is my favorite glue. So use whatever you prefer, use your favorite lashes and just put them on. Okay, now that our lashes are in place, we are gonna go in with your favorite black eyeliner. I like the Sephora brand eyeliner. It's um, really pigmented and it stays on all day without smudging. Apply that to your waterline. Okay, now lastly, to finish off our eyes, I'm going to go in with mascara one more time and apply them to my lower lash line. Okay, our eyes are completely done. We are going to go in with the MAC studio fix and i'm going to apply this on my face i'm going to as i apply i'm also going to be kind of taking off all the axis i have here from our baking and just cleaning up any kind of fallout i had throughout the look make sure you guys get behind your neck under Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte palette and I'm going to only be using this for my um, my contour. I'm going to be using this brush. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't have a name, it doesn't have 
a number. I got this off Amazon and it came with a couple of beauty blenders, so I don't really know. I will try to find the description of where I bought it or the link of the Amazon order and I will try to add that here. I'm going in with the middle color, it's called Desert. Okay, now that we added our color and now we're looking a little bit more not as pale, we're going to go in with our high highlighter. I'm going to be adding it just on my cheekbone. I'm not going to be applying blush. I'm not a big person on blush. I don't really like the way it looks on me too much, so I don't usually apply it. But if you do like it, this would be the time to obviously apply that also. Now that our face is completely done, I'm going to go in and do my lips. I'm going to be using, I like to use lip liners because I like to kind of overline my lips just a little bit. So I'm going to go in with the Kylie Mary Jo K. And of course, I'm going to be using the Queen of the Cumbia. Just look at this. I think that's so cute how they thought about imprinting the rose into her lipsticks that's super super cute the red is so beautiful and um let's go ahead and apply this Okay, now our look is completely done. We're just going to go ahead and set our makeup with the Tarte Stay Spray. Or use your favorite. Okay, this is a complete look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed creating this look for you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will be bringing in new looks, uh, maybe something a little bit more simpler. I really like this red. It has like a metallic kind of finish to it, which is different for me. I personally prefer a lot of matte looks instead, but I really, really like this red. It's super cute. I hope you guys like it as well. I will be bringing you guys more looks with the same palette and um, different looks with other palettes that I have. I have other stuff coming in and hopefully I'll be sharing that with you guys very soon. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.